An inferno rages through the town of Lahaina, blazing through centuries-old buildings, turning shops, restaurants and houses to ash. Despite the danger horrified onlookers, finding it hard to tear their eyes away. The wildfires took this island by surprise on Tuesday night, forcing residents to run for their lives as the flames leapt through swathes of tinderbox dry grasslands into residential areas, fanned by high winds from a distant hurricane, which hampered firefighters' efforts. The reason it spread so fast is there are reports of gusts of up to 85 miles per hour. So, you know, that, that is so fast, and that's why uh, Maui County had such a hard time doing containment of the fire, and because the winds were so high, we couldn't provide the helicopters to do the water bucket support. At Maui Airport, thousands of tourists queued to try to escape on hastily organized rescue flights. It's just scary to see a big wildfire just kind of coming your way, and it's just not something I ever experienced before. We were actually going to go to Greece this summer, but there's a lot of wildfires there, so we, we didn't go to Greece because of the wildfires, and we came here and there's wildfires. Today we got about oh, a little over 11,000 travelers out of Maui. Um, if we add in the, the airline personnel, it's 11,400 or so. Um, we really appreciate what the airlines have done. As the fires blazed, some had to be rescued after they jumped into the ocean. The island's hospitals now full of patients suffering from burns and smoke inhalation. From above, the extent of the fires are terrifyingly clear. The cause uncertain, though experts agree drought conditions and strong winds have provided a perfect storm to fan the flames. Oh, my God! The reaction of a helicopter pilot who's flown out of Maui for 50 years. As the winds waned and flights went up, he and everyone else unable to believe their own eyes at the scale of the devastation. We expected to see some structures burned and so forth and some damage, but we were not we were not prepared for what we saw. What we saw looked like an area that had been bombed and burned by in a war zone. Oh my gosh, look at the harbor. With scores of people confirmed dead and many more missing, a state of emergency has been declared. The main focus now, to save as many lives as possible, then to begin helping those who've been left with nothing. Catherine Jacob, 5 News.